Hey guys, how's it going? Mega Gears here. So I was looking at some things on Twitter and everyone was posting up all these comics that they've read and some people brought up things with other Justice League books that they were reading and how certain things that happened in Justice League and old school superheroes that they'd like to see come back. Like the golden age superheroes like Jay Garrick and it seems like Power Girl's become a lot more popular uh, recently even though she hasn't been around for a minute. And uh, other people were talking about other superheroes like Mr. Terrific and Alan Scott. And I was like, you know what I think would really be cool? If we got a Justice Society of America book back. And seeing these teases have gotten me a lot more excited. Because I would seen how in the Button storyline, Jay Garrick was teased. You had Deathstroke recently. They're like, oh yeah, Power Girl, she's around, she exists. And she's probably going to be showing up in some comic books sometime soon down the line since she pops up in Deathstroke. And you even had Johnny Thunder who showed up in the Rebirth um, standalone issue that kicked off this whole new line of comics. Uh, and I was like, okay, this might be a thing that will happen. Mr. R Mr. Terrific has his own team book coming out soon. So maybe we will get a Justice Society of America book back. And... I was never originally a fan of it, of Just Society of America. I was like, oh, it's the old school team of superheroes with people I don't recognize. I didn't know who Jay Garrick was at the time. Um, upon reading like the first 100 issues of Wally West's run, love Jay Garrick's character. He's like the old man Jay Garrick with like all this wisdom. He's like, he's, he's seen stuff. He's been through some, some things. He knows a lot of tricks as a speedster that some of the other Flashes don't know. Um, then we also have uh, certain other members like Alan Scott. And I was like, Alan Scott's not my Green Lantern. I don't know anything about that guy. You had Wildcat. Some of these characters I remember seeing in the Justice League cartoon, which was amazing. But it wasn't until I read Jeff John's run of Justice Society of America. And it was kind of one of those things where I didn't read the 98, 99 run to 2007. I actually read the one when Jeff Johns took the main title. I think Jeff Johns had done some fill-ins uh, with David Goyer, but he got his own run on it from like 2007 all the way to the New 52. And it was great. You had these really neat Alex Ross covers. You had like these story arcs which would focus on certain team members. And that was the thing. It focused on the characters. It really focused and honed down who each of these people were. Everybody had their own um, struggles that they were going through. Everybody had these things that they were trying to figure out their inner demons. You had, uh, let's say, Citizen Steel. I was like, okay, he's a guy that dresses up in a red and blue banner costume like an American flag. That's pretty lame. Until you find out that the guy was a football player that had lost his leg and he was just retired out of college. I think he was in college football and he couldn't make it pro. And his life just fell apart and he was like, I don't know what the heck's going on with my life. You think that'd be the worst thing to happen to him, right? No, a group of psychotic super metahumans attack his family while he's with them at a family picnic and kills off like 70% of his family. It's crazy. And then he's about to die and some dude gets stabbed behind the back and leaks like this silver metallic fluid on him. And he wakes up and he's like extremely strong. He's bulletproof, but he can't feel anything. He's numb. I think that's one of the setbacks. He doesn't have any pain receptors, but he like grows another leg and he has super strength. And it, what ends up happening, I think Mr. Terrific and a couple other people encase him in this alloy that allows him to like, like actually weaken him. So he doesn't like accidentally rip off, like, you know, handles off of a building or, you know, accidentally crush somebody. So you had things like that. You had Mr. Terrific becoming a member of the JSA. Um, becoming a team lead along with Power Girl and that's when they had the whole thing when they split off in two separate groups you had Justice Society of America and Justice Society All Stars um, you had the Magog storyline so if you had read Kingdom Come there was just certain things that were supposedly going to happen it was like this weird prophecy and the old school Superman from the Kingdom Come uh, universe or Earth comes to their Earth and it's this amazing moment when Power Girl sees him and she's like, Clark, is that you? 
and on his earth power girl had died and on her earth she's like you know just a fish out of water this isn't her earth there's already a supergirl so her planet's gone and she's just you know somebody that happened to make it um, from that earth and he's like super powerful you got this this creature named gog who's like giving everybody healing everybody and all this type of stuff and he wants these people to worship him it's like it's it's this whole crazy storyline like superman even punches a thunder thunderbolt and it, it's 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 those moments that really capture why events aren't always necessary i love events if they're done well if there's a purpose to them not when you're just trying to throw it to sell more books this story had story arcs there were arcs like four or five issues they move on to something else another group of the team you'd have dr midnight you'd have uh what's it sand sandman dr sand something like that you had power girl and star girl you had um adam smasher and a couple other characters you had alan scott mr terrific and jay garrett go to another earth where jade Alan Scott's daughter, who had died previously, was alive on that Earth. And Mr. Terrific saw his wife that he had thought he had died, but she was alive on another Earth. It was this really neat thing when you had characters dealing with conflict, but also they were just human. They, they weren't always saving the world all the time. It was just them living their lives as superheroes. It was about focusing on growing and cultivating the next generation of superheroes. So it was crazy because even the Justice League like had admired them it was like y'all are the group of superheroes that we aspire to be they would help lead um, other superheroes like this is what we do this is what's right this is what's wrong and this is what a superhero is and it, it was maybe for me it was just such a big deal because during that moment with a lot of stuff new 52 and everything stuff had gotten so dark so serious superman was brooding all the time all these other characters are brooding all the time every time he looked up it was always the end of the world and it was just like ah can we get something else so that to me was just so cool and you got characters that you were like okay this is a lame character and by the time you got to the end of their story arc i got to know them you were just like yo like, I, I didn't care anything about Citizen Steel. After, like, reading Just a Side of America, I'm like, okay, he's a cool character. Still not my favorite character, but he's pretty cool. Wildcat, he's just the guy that's a boxer that dresses up as, like, a, you know, a cat. It, it's lame, but he's, like, a retired boxer, and he's, like, been with these members that just Just a Side of America since, like, the, the old days, right? Um, it, it's... That's why I started really getting into comics because of that. So if you haven't tried out Justice Society of America and you're not quite sure, go ahead and give the 2007 run a try. And if you like those first couple issues and you, you keep on reading all that, then go back to the 98 run with David Gordon and Jeff Johns. Had some really good stuff too as well. I just feel like that run with Jeff Johns was a little easier to get into, a little uh, reader friendly. But yeah, guys, let me know what you think. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next.